Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. As you can see, it's a rainy day, so I'm doing a little project in my garage today. So to get started today, I've got my three uh, Tethered One Sticks, the Gen Two Sticks. I've got two clips from the Genesis company, a pair of scissors, and then I bought a long strip of the Stealth Stripping. So I'm gonna go ahead today and show you guys how I quiet these sticks and also how I put the clips on to make it a little bit easier in the dark to get these sticks back together. So if you'll take a look, you see that I've already got one stick here that I've put self stripping on. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the rope off. I've actually been using this one to set cameras because I always set my cameras about seven or eight feet up in the air. And if you take a look, you can see there's the stealth stripping and it totally covers the entire 360 degrees of the actual tube itself. What I want you to see though, is when I go ahead and hit that, compared to hitting one of the sticks that don't have it, big difference. Stealth strips definitely dampen the sound. I know you're trying to be quiet when you get up into a tree, especially around bedding areas, but this stealth stripping is awesome. It definitely makes a huge difference out there in the woods. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna take my other two sticks and I'm gonna stealth strip those and go ahead and get them prepped to be able to put the clips on. And then take the rope off of this one and do the same thing. Just easier with a rope off uh, to get these labels off and it's definitely easier with the rope off to go ahead and get the stealth stripping on there. And the first thing that I wanna do is go ahead and take off this warning label. The sticker really pulls off quite easily here once you get it cut in the beginning. Take this label all the way off. Now that stick, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna measure the length that I'm gonna need of this stealth stripping. And instead of using a ruler, I'm just gonna make an approximation right there of where I want it to be tuck it up a little bit snug underneath that rope right there. Sometimes you gotta loosen this rope up, take it off right there, and that way I tuck it right up underneath. And I've got myself a mark here with my finger where I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna cut the length of the stealth stripping that I need. Go ahead and take a look right here. Got just a little bit of excess, so I just gotta trim it up just a little bit. If you have not purchased this stealth stripping before, it's got a soft, almost kind of felt covering over the outside, which is what helps to dampen it and quiet it. But it's also uh, waterproof, which is great. So again, let me just check and see that I've got the length that I need right there. I do. But what I'm gonna do is just peel off a small amount at the end. Uh, this stuff really is pretty sticky. So the small amount that I peel off, I just wanna make sure that I get it centered as close as I possibly can. You'll notice that what I'm doing is I'm taking this stealth stripping and I'm putting it on the front so the seam will meet on the back of the actual stick, which is gonna be on the tree itself. And slowly I'm just peeling this off and slowly I'm working my way all the way down to the end of the stealth stripping that I have right here. And then all I do very simply is just work my way around both sides of the tube, just with my thumb, just continuing to press as evenly as I can to try and prevent any wrinkles, make it really kind of smooth and get this stealth stripping on there. You'll see that I've gone all the way to the back with that side, and now I flip it over, and I continue to slowly work and smooth it out on this side. And then you'll notice when we get to the back right here, 
you'll see that we have overlap. Um, probably a good half inch overlap. So this was designed really well to help keep it waterproof and make sure that there's coverage around the entire stick. We'll take a look here. I am at the back of the stick where the seam meets, which is gonna be up against the tree and the front of the stick. I do not have the seam so that it just gives it a little bit more of a uniform or camouflage appearance. Okay, there's stick number two done on the long end. And with these sticks, uh, you gotta do the short end as well. So go ahead and measure exactly where I wanna be with this one. Making it real precise, as you see here, guys, measuring down to one one thousand of a millimeter. Yeah, right. I'm eyeing it. Again, I'm going to take the backing off just this end piece. Make sure that it fits, which it does. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to get the backing off, especially with big thumbs. There we go, I get the backing off. I'm gonna go ahead and get it centered on this one stick the best I can. Pull the backing off, flattening it out as I go up. Sometimes it's easy to take those scissors too and just tuck the tape in underneath that mounting bracket for the rope. And again, both sides, just slowly flattening it out as I come around. And I'll do the same thing on this side, flattening that out right there again with the seam on the back. So that easy, guys. Looks pretty sharp, pretty easy to do, definitely a bit more camouflaged. And when you take a look at it, definitely dampening the noise when you're climbing up in the tree. So let's go ahead and do the same process with this third stick since I already had one done. I chose the strata pattern, but Stealth has got a couple different patterns that you can choose for with their camouflage. Um, depends too, sometimes you gotta find, find it in stock, but, and again, scissors right at the end, just help to tuck that up underneath. This next step is really pretty simple, guys. Again, Genesis 3D Company are the ones that created these stick stack stow clips. When you order them, you get the clips and you get two bolts that use an Allen wrench to tighten up. A lot of guys have had a difficult time, including myself, in being able to line up the top orange clips and the bottom orange clips into the next one stick. So they've come up with an ingenious method in which you only need to use the bottom clips here. We can remove the top clips that you see and we're going to drop these bolts down in with this clip so all you got to do is clamp it in it makes it a ton easier especially when you're coming down out of a tree in the dark and trying to get your sticks back together and onto your pack to head home so if you take a look don't try to grab a pair of pliers and yank these off of here you got to get a real small allen wrench right here and there is a very tiny screw that's in the top of this that you got to take out once you do that, you should be able to pop that right out. I want to lose those, so I'll get those here in a bag in a second. Then you go ahead and do the same thing. On the other screw, go ahead and pull that screw out. Pop this bottom clip off that you see right here. Then I'm simply going to take these two holes on the outside of the stick. I'm going to drop these bolts down in. And then if you take a look right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to screw these bolts down into the actual stick stack stow clip itself and go ahead and tighten it up. Go ahead and grab my Allen wrench right here. Try to get one of these seated to begin with and come back and get the other one lined up and get that one seated. And then I'm gonna go ahead, tighten that up with the Allen wrench. Now don't end up tightening it up too much. You don't wanna strip it, but I go ahead and get it tightened up as I can with the long end of the Allen wrench. 
and then I'll go ahead and flip it over so I can get a little bit of torque on it to tighten it up, but not too much. Just a little bit on both of these. And that's as easy as it is to install one of these stick stack stow clips. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to put these together when it's dark at night. Simply slide the bottom clips in that you see like that. And then right here, all you do is snap that in place. I've done that with one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do it with a second one. Thing to understand is that if you have three sticks, you only need two clips. So if you take a look guys, pretty cool invention by Genesis 3D printing. Again, when you take a look at it, you're gonna keep your bottom pins in, you're gonna remove your top pins, and then you're just gonna go ahead and put these clips in right here so that you're able to clip these sticks together much easier. So it's easier to get stuff packed up and get out of the tree in the dark. So there it is guys, I'm done with a quick rainy day project. Took my new Gen 2 Tethroid 1 sticks, put some self stripping on them to go ahead and quiet them and camouflage them a bit more. And then went ahead and put my Genesis 3D printing stick stack stow clips on. And now my one sticks are ready to go for season. After finishing up the one sticks, I took a look at them and decided that I was gonna go ahead and put some more stealth stripping on the front of the stealth sticks where it was really super black, uh, plus there was big white letters that said one. I just felt as though after doing all the work with stealth stripping the tubes, that the black actual steps or the front walls of those steps that deer are gonna see were really gonna show. So I decided to camouflage them as well. I'm gonna go ahead and measure the stealth stripping here, get a general estimate of the length I'm looking for. Cut this stealth stripping and uh, what I'm going to do it's a little bit different here it's always tough to get this stealth stripping coating apart I'm going to pull the stealth stripping backing off lengthwise and I'm going to go ahead and lay the stealth stripping all the way along the length right here. And I'm gonna take a really sharp X-Acto knife after going along the edge there. Just running the knife right along the edge that I went ahead and ran my finger along. I'll do the same thing going the opposite way. See if I can take these ends and pull them around on both sides. And now if you look in comparison between the two one sticks, I think that makes a huge difference. Next year, I may decide to go ahead and paint all these black areas, but it's too close to season right now and I don't want that smell to be on these sticks as I'm getting ready to start hunting in two weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Good luck when you're in the woods this fall. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.